watching Movie Guide's Backstage Pass. I'm Cheryl Crisp. For years, Matthew West has read thousands of letters from fans, turning their life stories into song. We're here in Matthew's hometown of Nashville to hear more about his story. I was a college student at a smaller school about 45 minutes away, and I had bought tickets, um, cheap tickets for the nosebleed section to see Stephen Curtis Chapman in concert. And uh, that I thought was just gonna be another night at a concert, but man, that concert blew me away. And specifically, that was a night where I felt like God was, was calling me. Like, I, I don't know how else to say it. Like, I literally felt like God was saying to me, you're going to be the next generation of people doing what you're seeing done on stage right now. And like, it was that strong. And I remember crying, um, which for, for a dude in college with his friends at a show to do, you know it had to be something going on in my heart. So I remember sitting there in tears, just going like, I know, I know what I'm meant to do. So it's pretty cool all these years later um, to be doing it and go, wow, like, God really is faithful. Like he, you know, the Bible talks about how he who has begun a good work will be faithful to complete it. I, I don't think I'm by any means a completed work, but I can see already the full circle of, of when God puts a dream in your heart and then if you're faithful, and even for the times that you're not faithful, he's, his grace you know, helps you skip over some of those stumbling blocks and brings you to a place of realization where it's like, wow, he brought me through, which is pretty amazing. But there's just something about writing songs that points people to the hope that I've found in God, because I do believe that, that he's the ultimate hope that our world is searching for. And so I really feel like my wife and my daughters are a part of that. They might not be the ones writing the songs, but they're the ones that are supporting me and praying with me and for me as I go and do these things. And the bottom line is if, if they're not invested and if, if, we, if I haven't done a good job of kind of bringing them into this where it's a family ministry, just because I'm going to do a Christian concert, all my kids know is dad's gone. You, know. you have to make a lot of sacrifices. Yeah. You're on the road a great deal. Yeah, and that's a hard part of it, really. I mean, you know, I remember one time my daughter, my youngest daughter, she was upset that I had to go out of town. She, she was crying, and I remember saying to her, I know, well, Daddy's going to be home, but, but you know why Daddy goes out of town, right? And she said to tell people about Jesus. I said, that's right. And she said, well, why can't somebody else tell them about Jesus this time? And I think that's when it hit me that, in a way, I was kind of hiding behind this, like, you know, well, my mission is a holy mission or something. Like, I'm, I'm doing God's work, so it's okay. But in that moment, it kind of humbled me because I thought, well, this little five-year-old kid at the time, she doesn't understand. Like, she just knows dad's leaving, and that's not cool with her. So there have been sacrifices that have been made and I have had to decide like, you know what, just because God's called me to sing songs and write books, he's called me to be a husband too. He's called me to be a father and to be connected with my family. And I don't always do a good job of that. You know, I'm like every other dad or husband, like I mess up, I say something stupid or I, I overbook my schedule and those are challenges in our lives every day. And, um, and yet I try to remember, like, God's called me to be a husband and a father first, really. And uh, I, if I lose sight of that, then it's not gonna do me any good to have sold a bunch of records if my kids don't even have a relationship with their dad. Absolutely. How important in today's culture do you feel is inspirational movies and music? especially for the next generation coming up, that a lot of them are not going to church anymore. Well, for that very reason, it, it's not only crucial, I think it's essential. And I, I think the arts have always played a vital role in, in uh, shining a light in a dark world. You know, um, I think uh, 
from a firsthand perspective, I've seen how like faith-based arts, movies, film, um, films, uh, music, how, how it's impacted my life. And that's one of the reasons why I make the music I make because Christian music helped me in my life, right? And so I'm very much um, in a place even in my life as I'm working towards the development of even film ideas because it's, it's been cool to see how songs have inspired books. And I believe that these stories can be told on film and they shine a bright light in a pretty dark world of entertainment. And uh, so I, I'm a believer now more than ever in the value of it and how it can, how it can, especially when you become a dad, you know, and you're like, man, what are the entertainment options for my kids? It's like, it's tough. Everywhere you turn, there's an option that is not something you want your kids listening to or watching. And there's gotta be an increase of high quality faith-based entertainment, movies, books, um, television, music, that, um, that Christian families can have access to, um, but also that people who don't know God can find and it can minister to them in their lives. So um, I think the importance now more than ever, like the time is now for faith-based, for top-notch, like high quality. Like I, I, I take it as an assignment when I'm making a record to make this like world-class. Not out of any competitive nature, but like why shouldn't Christian music sound just as good as pop music? And why shouldn't a Christian film be just as awesome as a mainstream film, you know? Um, so that's, that's the mission I'm on and I love meeting people that share that same excitement for for faith-based arts to reach a lost world. Thanks for watching Movie Guide's Backstage Pass. To watch more videos like this, go to movieguide.org.